to one for one fall. In the ring at this time, from Tampa, Florida, weighing 257 pounds, Jim Young. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, presented by Bobby the Brain Heenan, the missing link. Oh, my. Uh, if you've never seen this man before, do not adjust your television set. Well, this is truly the way this man looks. And he lives up to his moniker, the missing link. It's <laughs> a good question. I guess you might say his head is his uh, most dangerous weapon. He, uh, yes, he uses his head uh, as a weapon. Look at that. Yeah, but he uh, usually gets the back of his hair to, to, <laughs> to drive. There he Ooh. goes again. Advice now from Bobby the Brain here. Ooh, my. This man is just a, uh, he torpedoes himself. Look, look. Look at that. Grabs the back of his hair to drive, put more drive, more force in his head butts. Ooh. Oh. He'll headbutt you anywhere. Yeah. This time he got uh, Jim Young in the shoulder. As a matter of fact, uh, we have seen the Link set up a chair. He'll grab a chair from, from the outside uh, arena and put it in the middle of the ring, climb up to the top rope, take the back of his head, and ram his head into the chair. I've also seen him use his head so much to where he actually start bleeding. Yes, he's busted himself open. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't seem to phase him at all. It doesn't get hurt by it. Oh, wow. Oof. Very unusual. Yeah, I guess he's got to be the most unusual man we've ever seen in that ring. Ooh, Jim Young slammed down the canvas. Jim Young, you know, he's no slouch. He's a fine-looking athlete, 255 pounds. Woo! Oh, brother. This missing link is too much. Look at him. Continuing to ram his head into his opponent. You get the impression sometimes that Bobby the Brain Heenan has difficulty in managing, or at least controlling, Yes, the missing link. Think so. The winner of this bout, the missing link. The link, a well-conditioned individual. When I mean, you take a look at this man's physique, he's, he's really put together. Well, you know, that's right. You have to, we look at his face, uh, so grotesque looking, but his body is a really a well-trained, well-conditioned body. You can, just looking at this guy, you know that, uh, Whatever training he does, he does an awful lot of it because he's in, in that hip shape. But that face, wow. The face is enough to uh, uh -huh. startle an opponent. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think he's looking at the uh, ring now. I'm not too sure. I think he's scared of seeing it. I think Eden doesn't feel that, that sure, that confident about this guy. Keeps his distance as he orders him about. But, uh, by the way, the votes, as we said earlier, and pouring in uh, for the Manager of the Year contest. And in a moment, if we can, we're going to give you a series of addresses, one for the Manager of the Year contest and another one for a free catalog. The votes, by the way, uh, coming in have thus far, believe it or not, favored that man you're looking at right now, Bobby the Brain Heenan. It appears as though it's pretty much neck and neck on the voting with Heenan and with Lou Albano, which is very surprising. Yeah, that is surprising. I, I, well, look at this guy. He's, he's really... By the way, by the way, also eligible for, uh, as of this week, also eligible for the Manager of the Year uh, honors are Hillbilly Jim, who is managing, uh, as we all know, uh, Uncle Elmer. For the benefit of those you would like to vote for Manager of the Year, we encourage you to do it.